A classic St. Patrick's Day meal of corned beef, potatoes, carrots, onions, and cabbage. An easy slow cooker meal and real good eating. There are not many ingredients, but this is such a delicious and comforting classic meal. Corned beef is a salt-cured beef brisket, so you want to cook this low and slow. Today I'm using my crock pot. I have one medium diced onion and three diced carrots that I'm adding to the bottom of this crock pot. This is going to make a nice bed for the corned beef to set on. I'm putting in the carrots now because they're going to take the longest to cook. This is a three pound piece of corned beef that I rinsed well. I'm placing in with the fat cap side up and sprinkling the top with the seasonings that came with the meat. As the corned beef cooks, the fat will render and cook down through the meat, keeping it juicy and flavorful. I'm adding in four cups of beef broth. You could also use water, beer, or chicken broth. And that's it for now. Covering and cooking on the low setting for four hours, and then I'll bring you back for the next step. It's been four hours, and the house is really starting to smell good. Now I'm adding in the potatoes and cabbage. I have four medium peeled and quartered yellow potatoes. I'm keeping the potatoes and cabbage larger pieces because this is going to cook for another four to five hours. If you are cutting the potatoes and cabbage into smaller pieces, then you may want to wait and add them two to three hours before it's done. Just poking the potatoes down into the broth and placing the cabbage wedges on top. This is about half of the cabbage head. Placing the crock pot lid back on and cooking an additional four hours on low or until the cabbage and potatoes are tender. It took five more hours for everything to be fully cooked. When adding the potatoes and cabbage, it took the crock pot time to come back up to heat and start cooking again. This is not a slow cooker meal that you want to cook on the high setting. You want to cook the corned beef low and slow, so you have to be patient. I took the fat cap off of the meat and sliced against the grain. The corned beef is juicy and tender. All the vegetables go so well together, and they are a meal in themselves. Don't forget to drizzle over some of that wonderful broth. A piece of Irish soda bread goes great with this corned beef meal. If you are looking for a St. Patrick's Day meal, this classic corned beef and cabbage slow cooker meal recipe is so easy and delicious. Enjoy! If you like this video recipe, please hit the like and subscribe button. Remember to hit the bell next to the subscribe to make sure that you get my future video recipes. You can also find me on Facebook and at my website. Feel free to share this recipe and my channel with your friends and family. And until next time, much love!